know how important it is to have good personal camouflage. Here's a soldier who is well camouflaged to match his surroundings, and he probably thinks that he hasn't been seen. But he has, and by a German sniper. Why? It's obvious. Grass doesn't usually move about like this. This man has made the most elementary mistake of field craft and paid the price. The most perfect camouflage is useless unless your field craft is equally good. The first lesson in field craft is how to recognize good cover from bad. Avoid the obvious, that gate, those twin trees, that gap in hedgerow, that tree, that lone bush, that barn. Keep clear of places the enemy is likely to have on his range car. It's a much clearer order if he can say 350 left end of barn instead of somewhere along that hedge. or 400 lone bush, instead of 400 corner of field, right 30 yards. Every man's estimate of 30 yards is different, and the fire would be scattered. If you use a gap or gateway as a fire position, and there's always a temptation to do so because of the good observation, you'll be very quickly spotted. It's far better to choose a small opening somewhere along the hedgerow. But don't push the muzzle too far forward. You don't always have to be behind the hedgerow. Background is cover. So when you take up a position, imagine how you look to the enemy. Merge with your background and you won't be easy to see. Look along this hedgerow. How many men can you see? There's the first, wearing his personal net garnish to match the bush. And a second. And a third. The last two have just used grass in their helmet. Hedgerows are not the only kind of cover. If you're working forward under cover of fire or smoke, a slight fold in the ground can hide a whole section. And unless the enemy has a high viewpoint, he won't even see the fold. As you move across country, follow the ground pattern. Follow the line of hedge and ditch instead of crossing the open and don't cut corners. It may be the long way round, but sweat saves blood. In darkness, of course, the hedgerow may be a fixed line or contain an ambush, so then it's often safer to move in the open. When you're moving along the hedge, keep to the shady side, but don't walk out in the sunlight. When there is shade, use it. Keep close into the hedge, even if it is harder going. Of course, you may not always find a convenient hedges. The country may be flat and open and the only cover a ditch. Then get into it, even if it does mean wet feet. Low ground gives good cover but poor observation. The higher you are, the better you can observe, but remember the skyline. You may be safe from the enemy on the same level as yourself, but 
If he is below you, you'll appear like this, skyline. Amongst the trees, these men may think that they're in good cover, but they're not. Even in a wood, you may be skyline, especially if it's on a crest. Here's a section which is well camouflaged, and the grassy ridge offers good concealment. By himself, this man is giving a good imitation of a tuft of grass, and so is every man in the section. But tufts of grass don't grow at regular intervals. It's the regularity which will catch the observer's eye and enable him to recognize the line of tufts as a section. Although it may seem more, these men are all exactly nine paces apart. That double blob is probably the Bren team. Regular spacing doesn't occur in nature, and the essence of fieldcraft is to imitate nature. So break it up into groups. The section is still here, dispersion is maintained, but the regular spacing has been avoided. That's much better, and the position of the Bren is concealed. When you want to observe, the temptation is to expose yourself for as short a time as possible. But any sudden movement, however small, would be quickly detected. So, move slowly. Look through cover, not over it. Even at close range, this observer can see without being seen. If you can't look through, look round, but again choose the shady side. And remember that you're much better camouflaged than your rifle. Even your best friend can sometimes give you away so keep it well down until you're ready to use it. Now this wall may give perfect concealment and good fire protection, but its straight lines will reveal you at once if you try to look over it. Don't break straight lines. Note the difference if the top of the wall is broken up. At 30 yards range, this man is very difficult to spot until he moves. You wouldn't have seen him at all at a hundred yards. Can you see a soldier in the shade of those trees? If he takes a few paces forward, you can. You could see him a mile off. So keep in the shadow and keep your shadow in the shadow too. Here's a man who hasn't. He probably thinks sunlight is good for him. Cover from view is not cover from fire if you're seen getting there. 